Alright, YouTube. Um, this is where I'm at right now with the car. I figured I'd uh, show you guys how to do a proper primer coat. This is really the first time I've ever done a proper primer coat. Any other time, it's just been a quick rattle can. But my camera's not really high def. You're right here, you can see little marks in the coat under there. Try to hold this still, see if it focuses. Nah, it ain't gonna focus. But there's little pits in there. This has only been sitting for about 15 minutes, but you can feel it definitely. Um, the whole point of a primer coat is to build up a nice layer that you can work with, that you can wet sand, that you can make better. I'm not trying to advertise anything, so I'm not gonna really tell you guys exactly what I'm using. Let's just say I'm using something with an oleum on it, and it works on rust. But in short, when you're doing a primer coat, first put out your cigarette. You don't want that starting fire or causing an explosion. I seriously doubt it would. But what I found to work with this particular oleum brand is that taking nice long sweeps and I hate to say that a uh, slow and steady wins the race but in this case it seems like slow and steady wins the race um, the reason why I say that is because it lays down so much better you know you get a nice thick layer there don't be afraid to go back over what you just sprayed you know just take your time and the whole goal of this is to um, put up a workable layer of paint. That's pretty much it. You know, a workable layer that you can uh, sand to your heart's desire to get the finish that you want. But for me, I'm not really going for showroom finish. I'm going for painted engine bay finish. So I don't have to really struggle too hard to get those little pits and stuff out of there. You know, wet sand it, get it mostly smooth to where you don't see that shit in paint, and that's it. So, I mean, just long, st long, steady sweeps. Uh, move it at a constant pace so you don't get uh, big layers. My overlap is literally, like, probably the better part of 70%. And it's just because I want a nice thick coat to work with. I get it around the edges, like edges like that, you know, and I just kind of like feather the edges, get them nice and wet, don't let them run, you know, get it wet to where you can tell it's paint on there, you know, go, I go over the same stuff too, you know, I don't worry about, uh, it's not a gun, so I mean, I don't have to worry about clogging it up, you know, so I mean, and this nozzle, it's pretty decent, you can't really see it, but. That nozzle's pretty decent, so, you know, I don't use a pin to clean it out. I just go up to a piece of cardboard, spray on it, make sure it's clear, uh, and then I start painting. And it's coming out pretty good, as you guys can see. You know, I didn't mask off the car, because I'm going to end up wet sanding this. I could already feel the OCD coming on right now. I'm going to end up redoing the black trim, you know, just making it overall. A slightly better paint job than what it is because you know it, it needs to be gone completely over and completely resprayed. Like, what I'm not doing is spraying over here the body kit because that shit's gonna be hard to sand. Like, it's gonna be really easy to remove uh, material off of something like that. <coughs> and you have to buy the expensive sandpaper just to do wet sanding. Like, that, that shit's like 20 bucks if I remember correctly. Like, it, it's pricey. Like, 20 bucks a pack, I think. I think. But it's going to be like closer to 1400 because it's already got a thin layer of paint when i wash this car with a white rag there's red on it you know like my car's on a period or something so i don't know you know very very fine uh sandpaper uh maybe some diamond cut with my orbital buffer you know and then a thick coat of wax is all, all i'm gonna do i'm not gonna try to make this look pro um for the paint until I could get all of the dents out, get all of the freaking shit like this 
built, that's yellow. That's not the camera doing that. It's yellowed from just years of being brushed against. You know? So, all that's pretty much, you know, gonna be done professionally. I, I don't have the skills or the time or a second vehicle that I could drive around to where I can do that, so. This side's completely bare. This is how it looked like before primer. I see a little bit of red and stuff on there. So it looks like after primer. Nice solid color. So that's pretty much it. You know, and don't be afraid to use a lot of primer. The whole point of primer is to build up layers of it. <coughs> so you go wet sand it down. That's the whole point. Like I wet sanded it before I primed it. That's what that thing is over here. With some uh, 220. That's why it's red. I wet sanded it. Uh, and then I just freaking um you know scrubbed it with a little scrubber a nice stiff brush stiff bristle scrubber and then you know I uh, washed her down you know with this thing it's actually meant for pesticides but uh you know I just used it for um, scrub for rinsing everything down and I wiped it dry with paper towels and she's she's doing really good so you know I'm, I'm very pleased with uh, this oleum product so you know, at first I wasn't very happy when I did the inside of there, just already wet sanded. But uh, you know what? It's coming out pretty good. But that's the update for the Outlaw Star. Uh, this is all going to probably end up being gold by the end of the night. I, I wasn't going to do it gold, I was going to just do this, set it outside, let it dry overnight, and then come back and finish it off. But realistically, uh, I feel the urge. Big time. You know, what I should do is wait until, you know what, I'm going to force myself to wait until tomorrow because I still have to do the inside of the engine bay and I still have to remove all that crap from the inside the engine bay too, you know, and I still have to scrub up that other side. Uh, I wet sanded that side, even though it's factory primer and I have to lay down a coat of this stuff. You know, I got the other stuff, the uh, cry stuff. Um, I think it work, may work a little bit better, but I'm not worried about it right now. Right now. I'm happy with this. So that's it. Feel free to like and subscribe. And check out my other videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Deuces.